Hey, second graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be starting a new unit where we are going to be talking about living things. So let's get started by talking about what we call basic needs of plants and animals. So your target says I can identify the basic needs of plants and animals. Let's start out by making sure we understand what the phrase basic needs means. Basic needs are things that are required for an organism to survive. So things that organisms must have in order to survive. An organism is any living thing. Animals, plants, trees, grass, people, and insects are all organisms. And organisms have to have all of their basic needs met in order to survive. Plants have five basic needs and animals have four. And if a plant only has four of their needs met and not all five, they cannot survive. Same with animals. If they only have one or two or three of their needs met, they will not survive. They have to have all of their needs met. So let's talk about what a plant needs. Now, some of the things that plants and animals need are the same, but some of them are different. So that's one thing we're gonna be doing at the end is completing what we call a Venn diagram to compare what plants and animals need that's different and what they need that's the same. So five things that plants need. One thing is water. Plants need sunlight. Plants need air. Plants need what we call nutrients. So nutrients are vitamins and minerals and things that are healthy for them. The reason we don't say soil is because there are some plants that don't need soil. There are some plants that can survive without soil, but they do still need nutrients and they get their nutrients in a different way other than the soil. But, in, but plants that do live in the soil that's where they get their nutrients. And plants need space. And what that means is that they cannot be too close or too crowded with other plants, or they will not be able to grow properly because they'll be competing with the other plants to get all of their needs met. So they have to be spaced apart. And the amount that they're spaced apart is different for every plant. Some plants need more space than others. <clears throat> and let's talk about basic needs of an animal. Animals need four things in order to survive. Animals need water, animals need air, animals need food, and animals need shelter. And a shelter is a safe place to live. So that doesn't mean that every animal has to live inside of a house. A house is our shelter, but every animal has a different type of shelter. Like in this picture, you can see a bird has a nest. That's their shelter. That's a safe place they can go to feel protected. They can rest there. They can eat and have, you know, lay their babies there. Um, let's think a fox likes a, like a den. Um, a snake likes a hole in the ground. Um, there's lots of different types of shelters for different types of animals. But the important thing is that they all have a safe place to go. So let's practice with needs of plants and animals. The first thing we're gonna do that the kids in class are gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing, they're gonna be playing a game with their table group. And this is how the game is played. Every table group is gonna get a bag that looks like this. And inside of this bag, there are many different cards and all of these cards are the name of a need of either a plant or animal. Like this one says water, food, nutrients, food, nutrients, sun. Okay, there's lots of different cards in here. So when it's your turn, what you're going to do before you can do anything else, the first thing you're going to decide is whether you're going to be a plant or an animal because that's going to depend on how many cards you're going to pull out of the bag. Because remember, plants have five basic needs, animals have four basic needs. 
So before you reach in the bag, you're going to announce and tell your group what you are. So for example, for this one, I'm going to be a plant. And plants have five basic needs. So without looking, I'm going to reach in and pull out five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Have my five cards. Remember, I'm a plant. So now I'm going to show my cards. I have air, food, food, nutrients, and water. I'm a plant. So let's think back to what we said plants need. Plants definitely need air. Plants don't need food. Plants need nutrients, which is kind of uh, like the vitamins and minerals that they use. And plants are special because they use several of their other needs to make their own food. They use the air, they use the sunlight, they use the water, they use the nutrients that they get from the soil or from other places, and they use that to create their own food. So plants don't need food, plants do need nutrients, and plants do need water. So the ones that I need, I'm going to keep. I'm gonna keep the air, the nutrients, and the water. The ones that I don't need, I'm gonna put back and I'm gonna try one more time. I'm putting two back, so that means I'm gonna pull two more out. Think about what I'm missing. Think about what a plant needs. I have air, nutrients, and water. I'm missing sun and space. So I'm gonna try one more time to reach in and pull out two more. Hopefully this time I get sun and space. I got food and I got nutrients. So if I am a plant, I did not survive because my basic needs were not met. I have air, nutrients, and water, but I do not have sunlight and space, so I did not survive. My turn is over. I'm going to put all the cards back in the bag, shake it up, and then I'm going to pass the bag to the next person, and it is their turn. So we'll do one more. Remember, before you reach in and pull out, you need to tell everybody what you are. This time I'm gonna be an animal. So remember, I'm gonna pour out, pull out four um, cards because plant, because animals have four basic needs. So I'm going to get one, two, not gonna look yet, three, four. All right, so I'm an animal. Let's see what I got. I got water. That's good. Animals definitely need water. I got food. That's good. Animals need food. I got air. That's good. And I got nutrients. So I'm an animal. I definitely need water, food, and air. Animals do need nutrients too, but we get our nutrients from food. So I don't need this card that says nutrients. That would be if I were a plant, all right? So I'm gonna keep the ones I need, water, food, and air. I'm gonna put nutrients back and I'm gonna pull out one more. The one I'm missing, hopefully you remember, is shelter. I'm an animal, I have to have a safe place to go to feel safe and protected and warm and be able to rest. So let me pull out one more and I got air. So I'm an animal. I did not survive because all of my basic needs are not met. I have water, food, and air, but I do not have shelter. So I did not survive. All right. So we're just going to take turns playing that game and practicing identifying the needs of plants and animals. And then the next thing the students in class are going to do, like I mentioned before, they're going to complete this Venn diagram independently. This side says basic needs of plants. This side says basic needs of animals. This side there, the middle says um, is, are things that both plants and animals need. So let's think back. Hopefully you remember that one basic need of plants is water. So let's start this way. Let's think about what plants need. Plants definitely need water, 
But before I write water over here, I need to think, do animals also need water? And the answer is definitely yes. So that means it's gonna go in the middle. So I'm gonna write the word water and I might even draw a picture of some little water droplets. Okay, and the kids in class here will get to color theirs. All right, so I have water. Let's think about another thing that plants need. We said that plants need sun. So before I write it over here, I'm going to think, do animals need sun? Indirectly, yes, because without um, sunlight plants cannot grow and animals depend on plants for food, but we're not going to, they don't directly need it. So we're going to write sun under where it says plants. All right. Another thing we said that plants need is air. Before I write it, I'm gonna think, do animals need air? Absolutely, we have to have air to breathe. So I'm gonna put air in the middle. Now, when you get older, like in fifth grade, you will learn that the type of air that plants and animals need is actually different. Animals need a type of air called oxygen. That's what we breathe in. Without oxygen, we cannot survive. And plants need a type of air called carbon dioxide. But the really cool thing is that plants and animals work together to give each other the type of air that we need. When we breathe in, we are breathing in oxygen. And then my body converts that oxygen to carbon dioxide. And when I breathe out, I'm breathing out carbon dioxide. And guess what? That's the type of air that plants need. So plants absorb or breathe in the carbon dioxide. And then in the process of using the carbon dioxide and the sunlight and the water and the nutrients to create their own food, they release oxygen. Isn't that cool? So plants give us clean oxygen to breathe and we give plants carbon dioxide to breathe and to be able to make their own food. So we work together. That's why plants and animals are very important to each other. Animals would not be able to survive without plants. Plants would not be able to survive without animals. All right, so we talked about air. Even though it's different types of air, we both need air. So we're, we're gonna put that in the middle. Let's talk about the next one, we said that plants need nutrients. And we did say that animals also need nutrients. However, we get our nutrients from the food that we eat. So we're gonna put that separately. I'm gonna put nutrients over here and food over here. Plants need nutrients. And for that, I will draw the soil and kind of show some nutrients. There, I drew the roots growing down in the soil, absorbing the nutrients that they need. And then people, we need, or sorry, animals need food. And by that, we mean healthy food. We don't mean junk food, we need healthy food. So I'm gonna draw A leaf because leaves are food for many types of animals, including people. We eat some leaves like spinach and lettuce and cilantro and kale. All of those are leaves. All right. And then we have, I think, one more thing that a plant needs that we did not say. And hopefully you remember that is space. Plants have to have their own space and be far enough away from other plants in order to be able to survive and not compete. Animals do not need space. Sometimes it feels like we do. <laughs> Definitely sometimes need to be alone. So for space, I'm just gonna draw two plants and I'm going to show, I'll show you in just a second that 
they have their own space. So I drew two flowers and used those arrows to show that they are spread out. All right, and then, so we covered all the, the basic needs of a plant. We have sun, nutrients, space, water, and air. And then we have one more need of an animal, which is shelter or a safe place to live. Plants do not need shelter, but animals do. So I'm gonna put it on this side. And I'm going to draw a house. And remember, this doesn't mean that every animal has to live inside of a house like we do. It just means that animals need a safe place to be able to go, to feel protected and warm and to be able to rest. So there's our Venn diagram comparing the needs of plants and animals. Plants need sun, nutrients, and space. Animals need food and shelter and both Plants and animals need water and air. All right, I hope that you had fun learning about the basic needs of plants and animals. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.